What's going on guys? So we're out here at a massive dam. We got tons of pelicans, lots of fish, and I just snagged a big Asian carp, silver carp, whatever you call it. So we got a lot of bait and hopefully we can just get a monster today. There's some big flatheads out here, big gar. Let's see what we can get. Alrighty guys, we got something. I think it's another big carp. There's so many carp out here, I feel comfortable snagging. I usually don't like snagging, but I highly doubt I'm gonna catch anything else <laughs> while snagging. So let's uh, get all the bait we can. Yep, yep. That's either a huge carp or a paddlefish. I think this is a giant carp, dude. Goodness gracious. Uh, they're so heavy, I can't even get this dude in. Dude, the water's come up a lot. Like actually? You wanna help me get it? We can move up a little. Is this a paddlefish or is this a carp? What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a carp. All right, let's just move everything up. Should we just wait it out? Or do you think it's gonna be like super flooded? Alrighty guys, we're throwing out a big chunk of this carp. Gotta wait on here. Just cause water's turbulent. Let's see if we can get anything. Oh, we got a wind knot. You know what? I think I'll put the gar baits over there. All right, you guys, there's some really still water over here. So we're going to put this big chunk of carp right in this little pocket here. All righty, on this one, we're throwing out just a piece of gizzard shad. See if we can get a gar catfish. Oh, I just saw a big gar come up out there. All right, we're gonna see if we can get some more carp for bait. It's usually like instant. Oh, I have one and pop me off. How did that even happen? There's so many of them out there. Guys, if I can not get a wind knot, watch this. It's going to be instant. Instant carp. Look, they're just surfacing out there. There's so many. There we go. Got them. Crazy, dude. There's so many. That is ridiculous. I have never seen this many carp. <laughs> they're everywhere. Their tails, I don't know if y'all can see it, but their tails are just coming up like every second. Oh. That was a hit. He's still on there? Yeah, I think so. Okay, dude. Let's see if this thing's still on here. Yeah, he's on there. Oh, that was a gar. That was a gar. Oh no. And I broke off on a snag. The braid hit a rock. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Alrighty guys, it's raining. We're trying to get out of here as fast as possible. As we move down a ways, I got my cart for bait. There's the dam. Water's still rushing through here, but it's not as bad. So hopefully we can keep our baits on the bottom a little better. We're 
at some still water. It was cool to see the dam flowing and stuff, but I'm ready to be able to fish in some normal uh, still water again. We're seeing tons of huge gar come up at this little outflow channel and I can't reach it from back there. So I'm walking along this fence. I'm gonna drop my bait right in it. Alrighty, so that does it for this video. Not the day I expected. That was a different kind of fishing for me. I don't snag ever, so that was that was a little new. And there were so, so many of those invasive carp. Those were actually big head carp, I believe. So I got a ton of bait for the future. I only kept one because they were so big, I can only fit one in my freezer, but I got a ton of bait. Their skin is really tough, so it stays on there well. I, I don't even hook my baits anyways, I bridle them, but they should last a long time. That was some very, very different fishing for me. I'm usually fishing stagnant bayous in the woods. So that was cool to see those huge hydroelectric dams. Definitely an awesome experience. But as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next fishing video.